understanding html computers speak a language of their own they can only be programmed by those who know the code a programming language is a vocabulary and set of rules for instructing a computer or computing device to perform specific tasks the term programming language usually refers to high level languages such as c c++ java basic etc html is the standard markup language for creating web pages and web applications html history of html html was designed by tim berners lee in 1989 which is now extended to xhtml full form of html is hypertext markup language here hyper signifies that a user can link pages to world wide web text is anything written in alphanumeric characters markup means formatting and highlighting of text with special tags language indicates the way of communication between web pages with its own tags and rules html codes are written in any plain text editor like notepad the html code written must be saved with .html or .htm extension the page so created can be viewed using a web browser characteristics of html easy to understand and flexible to design and modify pictures graphics video sound and text can be used together many formatting effects can be used for powerful web pages link helps to connect one page to another page html tags are supported by all the browsers html is not case sensitive that is capital head and small head are same the whole idea of a markup language is to avoid the formatting work for the text as the tags in the markup language serve the purpose to format the appropriate text every tag used in a markup language has a property to format the text we write structure of an html document the basic structure of an html document is made up of content and markup the content includes headings text tables lists pictures audio video etc the markup is the information inserted in the code with the help of tags that control the appearance of the content tags of html html commands are known as tags and are written as per the following syntax less than sign tag name greater than sign most html tags exist in pair that is start tag and end tag start tag comprises of tag name enclosed within less than and greater than sign end tag comprises of forward slash followed by tag name and enclosed within less than and greater than signs the basic structure 
of an HTML document must include the following tags. HTML Head Title Here, the title has to be written forward slash title forward slash head body here the contents of the page have to be written forward slash body forward slash html let's understand these tags one by one html tag all html codes are written within opening html tag and closing html tag it informs the web browser that the pages are formatted in html it has two sections header and body its syntax is less than sign html greater than sign content of the document less than sign forward slash html greater than sign head tag this tag encloses the document header but contains no text within itself it contains title tag which gives title of the web page to be displayed on the title bar its syntax is less than sign head greater than sign title of the page less than sign forward slash head greater than sign title tag this container tag is written inside the opening head tag and closed before closing head tag it gives title of the web page to be displayed on the title bar its syntax is less than sign head greater than sign less than sign title greater than sign title of the document less than sign forward slash title greater than sign less than sign forward slash head greater than sign body tag this tag appears just after the head tag it is a container tag which includes all the text images and the formatting elements with their attributes to prepare the web page its syntax is less than sign body greater than sign whole content of the page less than sign forward slash body greater than sign an html element is an individual component of an html document or web page once this has been parsed into the document object model html is composed of a tree of html nodes such as text nodes each node can have html attributes specified nodes can also have content including other nodes and text elements in html html element is everything from start tag to end tag consider the example given less than sign tag name greater than sign content less than sign forward slash tag name greater than sign there are two basic types of elements in html container elements an element that has both start or on tag and end or off tag 
is known as a container element. For example, each HTML document must start and end with HTML tag empty elements an element that has only the start or on tag and no end tag is known as an empty element these elements do not enclose any content they do something on their own for example br used for line break IMG used for inserting image HR used for horizontal rule creating saving viewing an HTML document for creating an HTML document use any text editor here we will be using notepad Step 1. To start writing on Notepad, go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, Notepad. Notepad window will appear. Step 2. Type the HTML code in the Notepad as shown. HTML Head Title my first web page slash title slash head body this page has been made by me using html slash body slash html step 3 after writing the complete code choose save as option from file menu and select an appropriate location to save file give suitable name to file and use either dot html or dot htm as extension step 4 to view our web page click on start button select Internet Explorer File Menu Select Open Browse Select File from the location we have saved and click Open button. In the Open dialog box, the web page will be displayed. Alternatively, we can double click on the file name and by default, it will open in our default web browser. Step 5 To modify saved file, right click on our file, click open with notepad, make changes and then again save the file, adding comments. We can add comments in HTML document using comment tag. We can use it to write notes while coding, which will not be displayed on the web page. Any information written between less than sign, exclamation mark, double hyphen, and double hyphen, greater than sign, will not be considered for processing. The following program illustrates its use. HTML Head Title My first web page Slash title Slash head Body This page has been made by me. Exclamation double hyphen Add more information here like name, class and roll number double hyphen slash body slash html changing the appearance of text font size text color and background font tag 
font is the different style of writing the text in a document. The font tag begins with opening tag font and ends with closing tag font. Its various attributes allow us to change the size, style and color of any part of the text. Face It changes the font of the text. If the font is not installed in our computer, then browser will show the default font face times New Roman. Example Font face is equal to double quote Lucida handwriting double quote Size It changes the size of the font to be displayed. We can give numbers from 1 to 7 for smaller to bigger size of text respectively. Example Font size is equal to Double quote 7 double quote Color The color attribute changes the color of the text. We can give name of the color or the prescribed color codes. Example Font color is equal to double quote hash eight zero 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 eight zero double quote to get purple color text. Alternatively, font color is equal to double quote purple double quote to get purple color text. Changing font style. B. Bold tag. This tag is used to show the content within the tag in bold form. We type opening tag B before the text and closing tag B after the text that we want to make bold face. Example B. 5E Education Close tag B. I. Italic tag. This tag is used to show the content within the tag in italic style, that is, leaning to right side. Type opening tag I before the text and closing tag I after the text that we want to display in italics. Example I. Technology is rapidly changing. Close tag I. U. Underline tag. This tag underlines the text enclosed within opening tag U and closing tag U. Example U. This shows underlined text. Close tag U. Changing the appearance of background. Background. This attribute is used to set the background of the page by using any image file. One has to specify the path and file name of the image with the file name extension. Example. Body background is equal to quote C colon slash html slash cute beer dot jpg double code bg color it sets the background color of the web page mostly all the browsers recognize the names of the colors that is red green blue etc Text. It specifies the color of the text to be written on the web page. Example. Body BG color is equal to double quote yellow double quote text is equal to 
double quote red double quote let's understand changing of font and appearance by a sample program type the html code in the notepad as shown html head title applying effects title slash head body bg color is equal to double quote yellow double quote font face is equal to double quote lucida handwriting double quote size is equal to double quote 3 double quote color is equal to double quote red double quote in start opening tag b topology closing tag b each node is directly connected to a central node opening tag i failure closing tag i of a single node does not affect the opening tag u entire network closing tag u slash font slash body slash html give suitable name to file and use either dot html or dot htm as extension formatting the headings heading tag this tag is used to specify the headings in a web page one document can have six sizes of headings ranging from h1 to h6 the smaller suffix gives a bigger size of heading syntax tag hn heading close tag hn where n stands for numbers from 1 to 6 heading tag has a line attribute through which the text can be aligned left right or centrally example h1 align is equal to double quote center double quote database management close tag h1 this will align the text to the center similarly left right will align the text to the left or right of the page respectively p paragraph tag to display a long portion of text as a paragraph p tag is used notepad doesn't recognize the enter key so this tag is used to start a new paragraph it leaves one line blank between the two paragraphs it has following attributes a line attribute this attribute of p tag specifies the horizontal alignment of a paragraph it takes any of the four values left right center justify the meaning of left right center is same as discussed in the heading tag to justify means that the text evenly spreads between left and right margins setting the margin of the web page body tag top bottom left and right margins these attributes are used to set the top bottom left and right margins of the web page respectively 
the value is given in pixels such as 50 which will display the text 50 pixel away from the respective margin example body top margin is equal to double quote 50 double quote left margin is equal to double quote 30 double quote right margin is equal to double quote 30 double quote bottom margin is equal to double quote 50 double quote this will display the text 50 pixels away from top and bottom margins and 30 pixels away from right and left margins br tag br tag moves the preceding text or image on the next line without giving any space between the two lines understanding html hr tag hr tag adds a horizontal line or rule which is required on a web page